Hello my friends, welcome back. Today I want to share my experience in making a ceramic charcuterie board. Here's a quick list of the supplies that I used. I'm just gonna narrate through this and share some of the thoughts that I was having as I was creating this board. The word charcuterie, I'm gonna do my best not to say often because for some reason I get tongue twisted on it. But basically what it is, is a board that'll display meats and cheeses and the spreads that go with them. And you use them for parties or you just use them for quick snacks. My hope was to easily display it on top of my microwave uh, so I had easy access to it when I needed it. One of the things that was important to me when making this board was that it was going to be functional for me. When I looked at the size of the board it actually seemed too large so I shrunk it down by a few inches and made it a 16 by 9 inch. One thing I wanted to keep reminding myself is I needed to keep it simple and its display and finished result is not supposed to distract from the beauty of the colors in the food. I have a slab roller but this can also be done with quarter inch uh, shims and a rolling pin. What I wanted to make sure here is I'm measuring that the width of the clay that I put on the slab roller is actually wider than 16 inches. Could it be 17 or 18 inches? Because when it's all rolled out, I didn't want to have to add any extra pieces of clay. A real concern I had when making this large flat slab was the weather and also the muscle memory of the clay. I'm not used to making large flat pieces of anything, so I tried my best to keep it flat from beginning to end, and these boards were really helpful for that. I really just didn't want to bend it and twist it or curl it even a little bit to prevent warping and cracking. As I watch this, I need to pay some respect to the texture in this one board. Even though it doesn't make it all the way to the end, I so loved it. It actually turned out really great and wished it would have made it all the way through. But I am sharing both boards here, so you'll get a different perspective on how I made each one. I'm about ready to flip this over onto a different wear board so that I can smooth out the backside and put some feet on it. Uh, I used plastic because this wear board is just a little too small and if you see the duct, the duct tape around it, I was afraid it was going to leave an impression on the top surface. I really thought a lot about what kind of foot should go on the bottom of this piece. If I just put one at the corners, it would warp in the center, it would start to droop down in the stoneware stage. So I thought, all right, I need support all the way through the surface. And you'll notice that I actually picked a different set of feet for the second charcuterie board coming up. But this one, I decided to cut them into squares, ish, square ish, they're a little rectangular. I do really like these feet. Now that I'm watching this over again, I do uh, like how it looks on the back. Oh look, putting a stamp on it. You know, I actually got a, a new stamp the other day with just my name and not the company name on it. I just like it a lot better for mugs. Anyway, I used the fabric, which is really important because it was in the hundreds the days I was making these, and it really needs to dry slow. If you dry it too fast, it could crack. If you um, leave it out, it could warp. There's a lot of things you have to think about when you're making a flat piece of clay. It's actually more difficult to make something flat than it is to throw a mug on the pottery wheel. See, I like the thickness of it here. And then it exploded. Da -da -da. So here we are, going to make it again. I used a different type of clay this time. Uh, this is a, a different combination, and this clay is a little more short. So if you notice that it's not a 
uh, a real plastic type clay it, it cracks apart a lot easier but I sure love the texture the first one inspired me and this one with the holes in it I thought oh this is great the type of food you're putting on a charcuterie board isn't shouldn't ooze through so that's the reason I left the holes there if you notice I'm using a different type of foot for this board. Uh, the type of clay it was kind of made me wonder if I needed more support. So uh, I did extra slip, extra scoring. I wanted to make sure these were really attached well. I noticed a little bit of separation on the prior board after just drying. So that was the reason for the change. I have to laugh as I watch this because this day was 105 I had a huge fan on there and I'm just laughing thinking how I have everything all covered up you can't see what I'm doing too well but you know I'm sharing the process this is a reality pottery journey I love the texturing in this clay I don't I can't even tell you how much I love all of the imperfections in it as you can tell, I am making do with what I had. I did not have a big enough bowl or bucket that I could have poured this glaze in, but I didn't mind the fact that I'm layering it. I didn't want it perfectly solid white. I did want it to look more organic. And you'll see in the end, I like it. I wish I had done something differently here where I think I would have been more comfortable if I just had a larger bucket. I look at this, you know, I really don't even care how much mess I make in the studio. There are some things about videoing yourself doing something and then going back and watching yourself actually accomplishing it. Yeah, I should have done this differently. But anyway, it's still funny to me to watch. It has been a long time since I made YouTube videos and I wanted to come back at it with a fresh perspective on what brings me joy as I am sharing the journey. There's so many people out there today making beautiful YouTube videos, but I thought, wouldn't it just be okay if I came on here and hope you don't mind the commentary coming through and not face talking to camera videos, but I really enjoyed making this charcuterie board. Now here's the reveal. All right. Here we are. Now, it didn't come out even, which is okay, because I like that. The only thing I really do wish I did was go to the grocery store and have a pro make the charcuterie board display. This is what I did. It works perfect. My husband and Joy snacked, watched a movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more new videos coming out. If you want to see some old ones, I have over 600 of the pottery journey. Thanks for watching. See you next time.